Hi, I'm Nafisa and I'm gonna cook today the sea bass fish in an Indian style. Okay, alright. So this is the fish. You can see this sea bass and I'm gonna clean this one with its uh, see the scales are around with the help of scissor, you know, and the knife and uh, let's see the ingredients but afterwards let me clean it first. Thank you. Welcome back. See, I have cleaned and mated the pieces. As you can see, I have cleaned each and everything inside and made in the pieces. Well, what I need today, I'll do the beans curry. So, the ingredients which I need today, you have seen the cut beans. I have little cut beans. One, one potato. I have uh, cut into the cube style. Two tomatoes white onion it's uh, it's it's okay if you don't have white onion you can do it with your reg regular red onion a little green chilies i have taken six to seven green chilies because i i love little hot and spicy and this is a vegetable oil that is a red seed oil uh, you can do it in any other oil doesn't matter and for the garnishing I need this uh, coriander leaves and most important the spices all I have is that this is salt turmeric or uh, in India we call it regularly as a haldi this is zira or the cumin seeds and this is my homemade zira powder that is I have roasted a little bit of zira and made it a powder and here it is again it's a homemade I have mixed all the spices like uh, coriander zira and um, some other dry ginger and everything and i have done one mix powder i'll show it in another video of this homemade masala well now i'm gonna start the cooking okay so my first step is 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 to mix the fish pieces with the uh, turmeric and salt you can put if you want you can put the red chili powder also but i have not given over here i'll mix this one and now my first step is to again see i have put the oil in the fry pan and one by one i'll just give it for the frying all right now let's see this remember your oil should be hot and then only you can put this see you have to wait for this till it gets golden color um, let me do one thing till it gets golden we can put another pan over here and what we need to do first fry the potatoes what i have shown see i put the oil now what i'll do i'll uh, just put the potatoes over here be careful and i'll just stir it till it becomes golden yeah same time we are gonna check the pieces whether it has become golden or not it's almost done so as you can see i have uh, taken out the fried pieces as well as the fried potatoes now my next step is to put a little bit more oil and fry the white onions and as well as the ch green chilies until and unless it becomes golden but remember before that we have to put zira okay now see i have uh, give i have given zira on it and and then i'll put the onion along with the green chili and saute and stir it until it becomes golden in color uh, you can see that the onions have become slight brown at this point of time I need to put the tomatoes as well as salt here you can see I have mixed uh, tomatoes and the salt and uh, 
keep on just stirring until unless it becomes golden the tomatoes might not uh, i mean fully a uh, golden but make sure that the uh, onion gets golden color yeah uh, sorry i didn't mention before these are the ginger garlic paste cubes then i need to put over here uh, when it's getting the golden flavor see it gives the flavor as well as the taste as you have seen now that the onions and the tomatoes and the green chilies along with the salt it's totally got mixed now i'll put all the mixtures which i mentioned before again i'll start to stir then i have uh, given the beans as well as the fried potatoes and let's mix it stir it in a very nice way so that the, all the masalas all the spices get uh, mixed in it as well as i have kept uh, the water for the boiling you can see this and um, because i have to put the hot water on it as usually put uh, it's a little like a tip uh, if you use the hot water then uh, the curry gets a nice flavor and it uh, it doesn't take a long time so here it goes see the color is getting yellow and little bit of golden touch it's a very easy and very nice recipe you can eat with the uh, rice you know boiled rice or you can have it with uh, you know regular bread also but i'll prefer with the rice now see i have given this boiled water over here and i'll just mix it i'll give it a nice stir see okay I'll lead it for around 10 to 15 minutes and as well as I'll slow the gas you can see so as you can see the vegetables has already boiled like, all right see let me check first yeah it's done now it's time to put uh, the pieces one by one one and five Some people don't like the ocean fish but this is a nice recipe you can try at home who are new to cooking also they can also try the spices are easily available you know uh, you can go, go to any Asian shop you can get all the ingredients what I have showed you shown you and uh, see we can make some twist with the ocean fish also staying outside the outside India isn't it so let me boil for two to three minutes more close the lid all right uh, my last step not last second last actually uh, what i have fried over here i got some oil right so what i will do i will just take uh take the oil from here and mix it you can avoid but i do it for my taste because this is actually the fish oil i'll just mix it and at the end don't put now the coriander leaves at last we will put the coriander leaves 
now before taking out before five minutes what you, I need to do, uh, I have shown already the roasted cumin powder. That powder you can put a little bit for the taste. You know, I'll put a little bit slight, just a pinch over here. And I'll uh, keep it for more two to three minutes. See, it's done and I have uh, kept in the dish. Okay, and look, now it's time to cook the coriander. I always put the coriander after, uh, at the last time, you know, the flavor doesn't go. See, it stays. Uh, one thing more, I have given the fish head. You can avoid that one, but I, I actually love the every part of fish. <laughs> so... Uh, I kept it so that's it it's a very simple here it goes and um, you can uh, don't cover directly like this never do that because you can keep it like this for some time two to three minutes or you can keep it like this that's it okay thank you I think you have liked my video if you have liked please put a like button and uh, subscribe me thank you and i'll in future i will again come for my next video so bye bye